This is tutorial number 72, and it covers how to use a circular pattern assembly feature within SOLIDWORKS. Now, we're going to have to open up three parts, so let's open up plate CA, nut, and bolt. Now to start off, let's open up a new assembly file, so let's click File, click New, click Assembly, click OK. Now, as you can see on the side, the three parts are listed, and we're going to pull these out and put them into the assembly. So to start off first, let's look at the origin. So let's click View, click Origin, and now we're going to put the plate onto the origin. So let's click Plate, and let's line the origins up. Now let's insert our two components. So let's click Insert Bolt, put it to the left, and let's click Insert Nut, and put it to the left. Now for the linear pattern assembly feature, I put in one feature, then did the pattern, put in the other feature, then did the pattern. This time we're going to put the bolt and the nut in together, and we're going to pattern two at the same time all the way around. So first let's do all the mates that we need to do. So first let's click the bolt, so let's click the shaft here, click mate, and let's mate it to this hole. Make it concentric, click OK. Now let's click this face, and this face. It's going to be a coincident mate. Click OK. And now let's click this face, open up the assembly tree, and let's make it parallel to the top plane. Click OK. Now let's do the nut. Let's click that and the shaft there. Make it concentric. Click OK. Let's do this face and this face, coincident mates, click OK. And now let's make this face and this face parallel. Click OK. So now we've put in the two features that we want, and now we want to pattern them all the way around. Now first what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to view a temporary axis. So let's click View, click Temporary Axis. And now if you zoom in into the middle of the circle, you can see the dotted line here is our temporary axis, and we're going to revolve our features around that. So to start off, let's click Insert, click Component Pattern, click Circular Pattern, and now we're able to do both of these features all the way around in a pattern. So first we have to click the components we want to pattern. You can either click it in the view here, or when you open up the tree, you can click Bolt, click Nut. So now we've selected the two that we want. Now we're going to have to click the axis. So let's choose this. And now let's choose the axis. So let's click this axis here. And you can see the first one is the see-through yellow color there. That's our preview. And you can see the first bolt, it fits in just nicely. Now if we keep putting the number of these up, we're going to get them to go all the way around. And it's already at the right angle. But if you wanted to, you're able to change the angle to make it fit. If it was 10 degrees, they would all be 10 degrees apart. But for this assembly here, we need it 15 degrees. Now keep inserting them until they go all the way around. Now we've got a full circle. Click OK. And now we have all of our bolts and nuts patterned around the circle. Now again, like the linear pattern assembly feature, this is useful as instead of inserting 25 nuts and bolts, all you have to do is one, do a pattern all the way around, and you have all of your features. This concludes our tutorial on how to use the circular pattern assembly feature within SOLIDWORKS.